Welcome back to another episode of Talking Toku, Boston and Bellingham's only podcast about Godzilla, Gamera, Ultraman, dinosaurs, and other kaiju. See, I, 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 we talked about it last time, and now it's officially part of it. Doesn't have the same amount of, of ring to it as the original one, so that might just be a one-time thing. But um, mm, I think we're gonna keep it forever. Dinosaurs fucking around. I know, man. but it, it doesn't roll. That that intro doesn't roll off the tongue as well as the old one did. Maybe we've got to rework our uh, our intro. Maybe. I mean, we're not really in. I, we're, it's only Boston and Bellingham's podcast because we live in Boston and Bellingham respectively. But like, you can listen to the podcast anywhere. You don't have to be in those either of those places to listen to the podcast. So I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we should. We should we should change it up a bit. We'll see. Do we know any people that like make jingles for a living? Um, I mean, I it's not really, but I got the music from my pals Johnny and Connor. Hmm. So mm. potentially, we'll see. Okay. We'll figure All something right. out. We'll 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 we'll. we'll okay, we'll workshop it. Uh, anyway, hello. I'm I'm your host, David. I'm Brian. And I know it's weird seeing us back so soon um, because usually we are a bi-weekly podcast. But hey, uh, we had a really cool idea for an April Fool's Day episode. So we're actually going to do it so we can get this episode out by April Fool's Day, which I believe is tomorrow by the time this is going up. Was that that Saturday, I want to say? I think it's Saturday. Uh, Yeah, and if it's not, uh, April Fool's. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, there we go. We if, we, if we screwed up April Fools, perfect. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the save, Brian. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm here for, on my supposed to be day off, but instead we're here doing this. <laughs> I know it's okay. I, I well, you know, I'll, I'll 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 talk about it in the what new cool kaiju thing segment because that's what I would be doing right now, but because I was doing this. I did it earlier in the day, but I will talk about it because, boy, do I have a lot to say for that segment. Um, but before okay. we get into it, we have a surprising amount of news for considering we didn't take a week off like we normally do. Like, we have a decent amount of, like, pretty big news stories, too. Um, so let's just go get right into it. Um, first up, we have some a bunch of details for Gamma Rebirth. Um, we have a brand new poster. Uh, a trailer. It looks really dope as hell. It does. We have a new trailer that I didn't touch upon in the, when I typed out the little blurb because it hadn't actually released yet. But we actually do have a trailer now, and people are not happy about it. And I'll get into that. But um, poster uh, and the trailer confirms that we will be getting Jiger back for the first time since when did Gamera vs. Jiger come out? I want to say it was 1969. I believe. I can tell you right now, it's over here. 1970. I already did it, Brian. Oh, I already got oh, it, yeah, Brian. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't need to get up. <laughs> I hate you. Maybe you should watch those movies, Brian, and then you'll just know off the top of your head. You don't have to get up. Um, yeah. Because I mean, Jiger is actually the movies I did watch come out. So. Um, that's. I mean, that's fair, but. Yeah, Jiger is like one of the it's like the last of the Showa series that's like good <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe that's why I'm taking my time to watch it. <laughs> but no, but Brian again, you're on Gamera versus Virus and Virus is like funny bad. Oh, right. Vir- right Virus is like very funny bad. Hmm. But anyways, that's not important right now. Uh yeah, Jiger's coming back in a really radical redesign. Um, And we also have a full synopsis, uh, which is as follows. The last summer, friends and kaiju. In the summer of 1989, Boko, Joe, and Junichi, all sixth grade elementary school students, were having their last summer vacation. Each of them is worried about their future. Brody, Ford Brody, (laughs) the son of a U.S. military commander, appears before the three of them and steals away the money they have saved together. Boko and his friends are furious and and plan a plan to get their money back. As they are about to carry out the plan, the town is threatened. The kaiju Gauss suddenly attacks Tokyo. The four are petrified in a town ruined by Gauss. As Gauss sets its sights on them, a huge kaiju appears. Its name is Gamera. This is the beginning of their Summer of Kaiju. 
Kaiju appear one after another, and Gamera fights back despite his wounds. The boys witness the legend. That reads like someone translated that directly from Japanese and didn't like adjust it to sound more natural in the English language. There's a lot of gauss in that. There mm. is. It's very weird, but... Also, is Brody an EOD specialist? Well, he's the son of a U.S. military commander. Maybe, oh, maybe, right. maybe, maybe, so, but, is his dad? <laughs> maybe his dad might be an EOD specialist. We'll have to watch the show to find out. But Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, the trailer looks really, really cool. Um, it seems like... Uh, so, all right, so... I'll get this out of the way because a lot of people seem to be really upset about um, the animation. Um, it's being done. I don't. I think the anim the animation is being done by the same studio that did uh, the Godzilla, the Polygon Godzilla tr uh, trilogy. So people yeah. are not really excited for that. They seem to be really upset that like it looks really cheap, and it's like I get it. It's not the most appealing art style. But for the love of God, it's 2006 was the last time we saw Gamera in any official capacity. Just, just be, just be happy with with, with this. Like I get it; it could nope. be better. But would you rather have this or literally nothing? I know what I would rather have. I think people just want stuff exactly how they want it and if they don't get it then they get upset spaghetti yeah. that's what star wars has done to people this is true and also like it's kind of a bigger i i, I chatted about this with uh, my dcm co-host howard um it's kind of a bigger issue in the anime industry in general with using cgi animation it's 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 a big big thing um which we're not going to get into right now but point is, if it looks bad, it looks bad. And it, you, if you watch the trailer, you can tell that they put a lot of the animation budget into making the monsters look good rather than the people. Which, hey, all you all you peep naysayers who are like, oh, I don't watch kaiju stuff for the people, that should make you happy in that case. Yeah. So there. <laughs> but, yeah, I... Uh, it's more Gamera, and I'm excited for it regardless. If it's bad, also, it's bad. People, people forget that a show can still be good, even though the animation's kind of bad. Exactly. I mean, Pacific, like, Pacific Rim the not, Black. Not, that's literally what I was about to say. Like, Pacific Rim the Black was, was pretty good, um, but the animation was not. Yeah, was no, it was, yeah, exactly. So I, I think maybe people are just, like, real, have gotten really picky in the in the absence of Gamera, I don't I don't know, but we'll. I think people have just always been picky. I mean, this we've is seen people we've seen the kaiju like kaiju fans and and other fan bases that I'm not going to name blow up at the smallest things. Remember when people got mad when Shin Godzilla's atomic breath was was? Oh purple? my god! I Remember forgot that? about that. People people lost their minds. I totally forgot about that over right. one thing, and <laughs> and then the movie came out and people fucking loved it exactly people have no idea what they want until they see it exactly so i i th i'm willing to bet and again like when when this when this series first got announced like shusuke kaneko himself like said oh what they're doing is is good like you have the man who directed some of the best kaiju films in history he gave it him his thumbs up, so I think it's gonna be good regardless. I have faith in Shisuke Kaneko, but yep. that's just me. So, <laughs> just, yeah, let's I just think it'll wait be good. to see how it goes. You know, that's. I, I think I think it will be good. I you know I I don't really care if the animation's bad because at this point I'm kind of used to bleh, looking animation. Yeah, and hey, like, uh, we're, we're we're used to it even even. Outside of Kaiju, I mean, Star Wars The Clone Wars started off kind of rough. Um, Star Wars Rebels was kind of rough in general. Um, Green Lantern, the animated series, is pretty rough looking, but they're all pretty dang good shows. So you know what? The, mon the Monsters and Godzilla Singular Point was a very big point of contention. It was. And even People though there's did like... not like that, but the show was good. Exactly. <clears throat> so yeah. anyways, yeah, that's that's it for Gamera Rebirth. 
obviously we'll be covering it when it comes out. I, I think there's still no release date for it for whatever reason. I think it's still just at some point this year, but we'll see. We'll definitely be covering it regardless. My guess is it'll probably be sometime mid-year. Yeah, probably like June or July is my guess as well. Yeah. yeah I'd say Which means you should definitely watch those movies before it comes out, Brian. You bet I will. <clears throat> I'm going to keep hounding um, you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's move on to the second news story. Uh, we have a new trailer for Shin Kamen Rider which actually just released overseas in Japan, so beware of spoilers. That being said, this trailer looks so cool with some of the best superhero action scenes we've seen in years. Praying it comes stateside soon. Uh, I watched the the like thing you sent me that was on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that was just a clip or if it was a trailer. It was it was wow. it was a clip. Um, so just like with Shin Ultraman, um, they posted the first two minutes of the movie on YouTube, and I think that's what that's from. Okay, because, wow, is that violent? It's, <laughs> it's It was awesome. ridiculously violent. It was so cool. It, it looks like they're taking a bunch of inspiration from the manga as well. Because I, I recently read the original manga that came out back in the 70s, um, maybe two months ago. And so, because, you know, obviously we, we've watched a couple episodes of the original show, and this is, this is not in the original show, but in the manga, after uh, Takashi has undergone his... his uh, his cyber cybernetization i don't know what the correct term would be um from shocker he turns into a bug. <clears throat> what it's where he turns into a bug yeah he turns into a bug when when he, when he gets experimented on by shocker um he's got like scars on his face when he when he's like starting to transform and there's a shot in the trailer that you where you can actually see the scars on his face and you can, that's never as far as i know um that was never in the original show so and and this the show also was not as gruesome <laughs> as that one opening scene in Shin Kamen Rider was, so yeah. But it, no, it has its moments. It has its moments, but it's never been that like that bad that level. No, not in, it's mm-hmm. it's it's very it's it's like Tarantino level of violence. Yeah. I'm very excited to watch that. Yeah, I really. I mean, I've had I have had friends who have seen it. Like I had a friend, my uh. No Croissant co-host Chris was just in Japan for a uh, trip, and he went to see it. He's, he didn't understand any of it because there was no English subtitles, obviously, but he said he loved it. Um, another friend of mine is currently in Japan in the scene, and he said he really loved it. So, again, really, really hoping it comes to the States soon because... And apparently it's been, like, trending on Twitter as well. Like, so that should kind of show Toei that, like, hey... People want to see this movie. You should like get some international distribution for it or something. So. At least slap it on a streaming service, please. Yeah, mm. just anything really, and any any amount of of accessibility would be good. So we'll yeah. see. Anyways, uh, moving on. Brian, I have a question for you. What? Do you ever want to see Godzilla fight pirates? Absolutely. <clears throat> cool. Um, that scenario is exactly what IDW's latest series, Godzilla, Here There Be Dragons, aims to accomplish. The synopsis. In the 1500s, before humanity had successfully traveled the entire globe, it was believed that monsters ruled the oceans just beyond the horizon. Here There Be Dragons was written on maps to denote the areas people dared not go. That is, until Sir Francis Drake circumnavigated the seas, visiting foreign lands and collecting treasure. Or, at least that's what history tells us. The truth is, tremendous beasts did lurk yonder, dwelling on an island that doesn't appear on any map, even to this day. And among those monsters was the king of them all, Godzilla. All this being said, I am officially considering this canon to the Uncharted series, and absolutely no one can tell me otherwise, unless you give me 100% concrete proof that this series is not canon to Uncharted. I will not be, I I will continue believing that. Um, But yeah. All right, Dave, here's here's what I need you to do. Okay. I'm listening. I need you to get a whiteboard and create a very, like, in-depth case as to why you believe that with like okay. the red yarn and everything and then do the 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 always sunny meme all right Just i can that. i can do that 
I mean, it, it, it might be a while because it's got to, I got to read the whole series. So it'll be like, I don't know. I can't remember when the first issue drops, but it's, it's a five issue series. So it'll be at least five months after this okay. comes out. So it might be a while. Okay. And I suppose um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to replay all the Uncharted games and everything to, to really get as much, uh, as much evidence as possible. But you know what? That's okay. I like the Uncharted games. I have no issue with that. All right. But yeah. Good uh, luck with that. that I can't sounds... wait to see that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to read this comic because it sounds really, really cool. It does sound really, really cool. I also love the use of the word yonder. Right. They're 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 going pretty hard on on the on the the shtick. But I love that word. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm I'm really excited for that. I like I like when they do weird out there stuff. And it's it's only ever been in comics. And but IDW has been knocking it out of the park. I mean, they're the ones who did Godzilla in Hell, which was admittedly a hit or miss series, but just as a concept, it's really great. And this mm. seems to be a great concept as well. So yeah. Hmm. Well, let's move on to our next move. Uh, uh, our next uh, news story about uh, our favorite show of all time. <laughs> oh boy! Season three of the Ultraman series on Netflix now has an actual release date rather than a window. May eleventh is when the final season drops. Which, thank God, we'll never have to talk about this show again. Oh, you know, it'd be oh. really. Oh, you know, it'd be really Omega funny. What if? It releases the same week as the Gamera show. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think that's gonna happen because like I don't think it would either. But it would be really just funny. Completely <laughs> overshadows Ultraman. That'd be funny. It, it, it's like um, it's like any it uh, like any game releasing uh during like when Elden Ring released. Yeah, or, like Horizon. Just, I think the, I think Horizon. Yeah, <laughs> both both uh, Horizon games released. Like, yeah, like, the same like week Forbidden, huge... For, Forbidden West released the same week Elden Ring, I think. Um, Zero Dawn was Breath of the Wild, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. And I think um, the Mad Max game came out the same week as uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Ooh, that's a just, rough one. Yeah, that that was definitely a rough. I've only played one of those games, and it's not the big, and it's not the more popular one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, oh god, that's like. That's like less than two months away, Brian. I'm 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 kind of dreading covering that show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could do the um our usual thing where we just like watch it over Discord. And we could get do high. that. We could. That might be <laughs> the way to go. I think that's that's gonna be the only way that we get through it with any ounce of sanity left. Mm, yeah, I think you're right. So maybe, maybe we'll. Do I hope. That. I hope it's at at least less boring i hope so because that last season was pretty pretty bad in terms of like, last season was so boring i could barely get through it i, I would like finish know, an episode and then forget what happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah i couldn't yeah, tell was, you what happened okay. in that i mean i know i remember there was there was king joe and there was that's the only thing i remember there was there was uh they brought taro in i remember the creepy like made people oh yeah them okay what <laughs> yeah like the, whatever, the weird what, whatever, man. a drug front or whatever yeah <laughs> we'll, I don't know, we'll see again shit. and this is weird because that it's ending considering the manga itself that's that, that the series is based on is still going so i don't know why the series is ending so who knows i like guess people don't like it <laughs> mm -hmm. that's fair maybe yeah. if they you know Made it good. It'll be it'll, people would actually care about it, but that's too much money. That's neither here nor there. Um, Effort. Speaking of Ultraman, we have some more news. Um, this one actually rather sad. Uh, Jiro Don has passed away on March 22nd at the age of 74 from lung cancer. Uh, Don, of course, was the actor who portrayed uh, Hideki Go, the host of Ultraman Jack, as and he also provided the voice of Ultraman Jack. Uh, in Return of Ultraman, and Hayes reprised that role multiple times over this over the years in a variety of se Ultraman series and films. Uh, most recently in 2017's Ultra Fight Orb, 
Uh, he's also made appearances in other tokusatsu media, including Super Robot Mach Baron, and most recently in Minoru Kawasaki's reboot of Planet Prince, which I didn't even know existed until this news broke. Um, this really is kind of devastating. Uh, Hideki was, for me, he was like my favorite of the Showa Ultra hosts, and it was always a really, really much of a treat to see him pop up in stuff like uh, Ultraman Taro and Ultraman Leo. I was always excited to see him because he was just... He's such a great character, and it's it's really a shame to hear of his passing. Because 74 is, like, still relatively young. It's getting up there, yeah. but still young. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like the... Um, I know that, like, the... Like, typical... Like... I don't know. The, the age that people die in Japan is typically higher than yeah. here in the States. Because they have a, you know... They care more about their health and other dumb shit like that. <laughs> other other dumb shit, yeah. Who cares about their health? I mean, come on. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's that's pretty young for uh, yeah, for Japan yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, really sucks. Um, Return of Ultraman is probably my favorite of the Showa Ultra series. It's I, I'm kind of back and forth between that and like Ultraman Taro. Um. But yeah, go back and watch some of these old shows, Dave. Where do I find them? I don't know, Brian. Maybe you should finish the first Ultraman and then you can keep going. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, you don't have to. There's not much, not much continuity. But after like starting in Return of Ultraman, like other, you know, as I said, other Ultraman hosts show up and you'll be like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't know who this person is. But. Hmm. But they're also all on Tubi anyways, so you can watch them there. Oh, it's on Tubi. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. But yeah. I don't know if I if I mentioned it, but I also saw a whole bunch of the series is like on, for sale at some some like kind of like Newberry comic style store oh, in really? Vancouver. Nice. They were all on uh, DVD, and there was one on VHS. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That's I think. not what I was expecting, but okay. <laughs> Wait no 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 um, that was something else I'm thinking of. No, okay. They were all in DVD though, but they were they were there was like a whole bunch of them. I forgot the name of the store. It's like something, something records. Mm. I don't know. Next time I'm out there, I'll look. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> re rest in peace, Jiro Don. Definitely uh, another Tokusatsu legend passing away. Yeah, sad rest to hear. In peace. Uh, well. All right, Brian. I'm last... I'm pretty pissed about this next one, so. Oh man, you're just gonna be seething in the back I when, am, I, uh, yeah. when I read this. All right. Uh, this one is not really Tokusatsu related, sort of just a general business news. But the company involved has done some great work over the past few years with the Godzilla and Toho license, so it's worth mentioning. Less than a year after acquiring poster, figure, and vinyl record company Mondo. Bunko has made the decision to lay off most of Mondo's employees, which includes two of Mondo's co-founders, and to completely gut their poster division. The reasoning for this seems to be that Funko took a loss in Q4 of last year and decided to not only dump more than $30 million worth of their pop vinyl figures into a landfill, but also lay off 10% of the company's employees, which apparently most, if not all, of these layoffs fell on Mondo. To me, this seems insane. For anyone even remotely familiar with Mondo, you'll know that they were certainly not hurting for money. Many of their products consistently sell out within minutes. Funko, as a whole, on the other hand, is stating to go the way of Telltale Games, making way more products than they can realistically afford to with the aforementioned pop figures. Supposedly, Mondo's collectible and vinyl divisions are safe, but who knows for exactly how long. Overall, this whole situation sucks. I actually read about this, um, and I watched uh, the this new show that I watch, uh, Internet Today. They like talked about this, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they actually had pictures of how many pop vinyls ended up in a landfill, mm -hmm. and it is a disgusting amount. Of Thirty plastic. million dollars, Brian. Thirty million dollars yeah. in, into a landfill, and they decided. That's the thing, though. Like you, you see these pop vinyls and like fucking everywhere, and I don't know anyone who actually gives a shit about. Them. No, like. People they like, were cool for like a year, yeah, like ten, 10 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> I like, think. like I don't think people 
collect them religiously anymore like they used to like 10 years ago. I mean, maybe there are a couple, but like not enough to feasibly make money for Funko. And yeah. the fact that they were just like, ah, who cares about Mondo when like a lot of people care about Mondo? And the fact, the, the worst part about this is the fact that they're cut, they're gutting the poster division. That's how Mondo started out as a company. They were exclusively a poster company in the past. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what made them they, they, what they are today. And just for that to be, eh, get rid of them. That's disgusting. It's, it's insulting really. And I'm really, really yeah. upset. So, and we've talked about it on the show before. We've both tried to buy Mondo posters, and it's all it's never worked out because they always sell out so quickly. And now I guess yep. that's just never going to happen now because fuck Mondo, I guess. I, uh, yeah, this is kind of hard because, like, you know, fucking Funko, like, they are, I hate to say this, like, right now because as much as I hate the company, I know that there's people there that are just trying to make a living, mm -hmm. but Funko is doomed. Uh, their business, their entire business is around these figures that no one cares about anymore. Mm -hmm. They were a product of like the early 2010s and now no one cares about them because I think everyone agrees that they look like shit now. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were more or less this generation's beanie babies and look, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the same thing happened with those as well. So I think that right now, like, the fact that they gutted Mondo is just stupid because I am willing to bet that Mondo is more valuable than the entire rest of Funko. <laughs> no, 100%. Like, like, in terms of, you know, maybe not, like, actual cash, like, assets, but, like, in business potential, I think. Yeah. You know? I mean, that that should, that's not, like controversial to say at all um just go to any fucking like nerd store and you'll see that no one buys funko pops because the stores have more than they know what to do with exactly like the, like the newbury comics i i think like pretty much every newbury comics has a consistent buy one get one half off sale on funko pops because no one fucking buys them i went down to um to uh uh into uh into seattle a couple weeks back to to pike's place and there was like a nerd store in there i don't remember what it's called but i saw their funko pops and i kid you not they were covered in dust oh my god like, that's covered. disgusting like oh that's awful I, like no one buys them because they suck yeah they're <laughs> they're they're, they're i every so often there'll be like a, a neat looking one most of them most of the time it's like not human characters like i honestly i actually did really like the one they did for godzilla for godzilla versus kong i thought that one looked pretty good i didn't buy it because i didn't care enough but like well why those buy those when you can buy a figure that or, that or looks good. Know, anything else that looks way better yeah exactly it's just a bit more money yeah <laughs> you know so yeah it's it's i mean well i did i, I remember i sent you a, a snapchat or something a while ago of the of the supersized Giganotosaurus pop from from Jurassic World Dominion, it was like you yeah. know, like you know, like a, like a foot tall, but that would have been a funny meme to get. But no. I didn't care. I didn't care that much. That's pretty funny. Ugh. But yeah, yeah no, it, this, this it sucks. Blows. I I I because yeah. I I've been like religiously buying all of Mondo's um, Godzilla and Toho vinyl releases, and I've loved each and every one. And I, I, again, the, the record, the vinyl division is safe for now, but again, who knows for how long. And I get that, like, Funko kind of saved Mondo because they used to be owned by the Alamo Draft House, who struggled a lot during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So have, have with Funko having bought them, they, they were probably saved financially. But for them to just turn around a year later and be like, oh, I don't, I don't who needs them? That's just, it's kind of shitty business, yeah. business practices. And I know that's like, oh, that's how it goes in that world, but it still sucks. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I we don't have all the numbers and everything. So it's kind of hard to say, like, what they could have done better or yeah. like what they could have done instead of laying off, you know. But I think no matter which future... Mondo went with either staying with Al Alamo Drafthouse, going solo, or 
continue, you know, going with Bunko, I think it would have le- led to layoffs eventually. Yeah. So I, I think it, that's just kind of a reckoning that we're going to have to deal with right now with how things are going. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Ho- I mean, I, 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 I'm, I want to be hopeful, but it's kind of hard to be at this point. We'll see. I think that, I think that eventually the, it's going to bounce back, you know, though, you know, once, once, you know, the economy and, you know, blah, 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 buzzwords. Once things get better, um, I think, you know, there's definitely going to be more demand. People will have more expendable income, want to buy more posters and whatever, and I think maybe they'll hire more of those people back, but right now it, yeah. it definitely sucks. Um, well, here's hoping. Yeah. I mean, my company just went and laid off three people, so. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> it, it, it happens. It doesn't matter which, you know, what where. Wherever you work, it's going to happen, especially now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. All right. Well, I think that does it for the news. Yep. Right. Let's go and do our... Uh, our main topic, funny, which is... Funny ha-ha is a, is episode. Ridiculous topic. So, I mean, we talked about it last week. As, as all you listeners know, um, on this show, we have a very, very loose definition of the term kaiju, uh, you know, considering we co- we cover dinosaur media multiple times on this show, um, so I we, still think dinosaurs are kaiju, but dinosaurs are just animals by definition. A kaiju is a strange beast. I wouldn't really consider a dinosaur a strange beast. It's just an animal. But anyway, <laughs> um, so we decided let's let's just stretch that. Let's just see how far we can stretch that for once. Uh, so we're going to be going through all of the Walt Disney Animation Studios films, and we're going to see how many we can we, we can consider kaiju films. Um, Walt Disney Animation Studios has at the time to- at this time sixty one films. So we're gonna see, we'll we'll see what the. Uh, what what the um the ratio is we might also do some other stuff like pixar i feel like we can include pixar some pixar movies as well um but we'll we'll see so do we want to just get right into it brian yep i'm ready all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do a little uh thing down at the bottom of our uh our document here yes and no uh, okay. can, does Google can I does Google Docs have a thing where I can do tally marks? Um, I don't know. I feel like they do, know. but I have no idea how. We're just, I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Google Docs tally marks. It'll Let's see if there's a way to probably do this. be in like tools. Probably. Nope, not in tools. Um, how long is this video? If it's like over a minute long, I'm not going to bother. It's a minute and 16 seconds. <laughs> okay, Four. not helpful. Oh, I got to like open the drawing tool. I mean, oh, we could just draw. Right, no, that's fucking stupid. I'm not doing that. Just draw the tool, the, the tally. Well, that's what it wants me to do, but I'm just going to, like, do this. Like, just put okay. that. So we'll do that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, we'll just get right into it. First up, Brian, 1937's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um... I, I don't oh. think so. I don't, I don't think there's anything even remotely kaiju in this film. I mean, it's been a while. It's been know, a number man. of years since I've seen it, but... I mean, all you, you don't got. Think the dwarves are strange beasts. That seems kind of ableist, Brian. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? They're, they're weird. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think they're. They're not like. They're not monstrous, you know. I guess the so. only thing. The only thing like relatively monstrous is the the um the queen when she disguises herself as a, as an old ugly lady, but that's like not still not, that's still like humanoid. 
You so could it's argue still, it's still that a human, like a skinwalker. <laughs> Maybe, but no, that's I'm, a strange beat. <laughs> I guess that's fair. But she, no, she, she's just a, she's just a witch, basically. I, I wouldn't consider that kaiju, personally. Mm. Okay, fine. All right, so fine. So, I'm just trying to be inclusive. <laughs> no, uh, Brian, believe me, me, me and Howard, uh, we went through <laughs> all of these like a week ago. Or two weeks ago, and we 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 got we garnered a bunch of them in the yes category. So don't don't worry, don't worry. We'll have some, we'll have some. Okay. okay. All right. Next up, nineteen forty, Pinocchio. Um, God, it's been like a hot minute since I've seen these movies. I mean, same here, uh, and even and even then, there's a bunch I haven't seen. But I think I think Pinocchio is an easy yes. Because they get eaten by the big whale at the end. Oh yeah. Who is yeah, literally named yeah. Monstro. And yeah. like y- y- you look at pictures of Monstro, he's definitely like now he's not just a whale, he's like a scary looking whale. So I, I I think Monstro and I know it's it's like not Oh my god, he is scary. Yeah, exactly. He's a he's a big scary whale. So I yeah, I I, th- yeah, I think a, Pinocchio is an easy yes. Oh, dude! I just found like a tapestry, and it's it's like the Jaws poster, but it's got oh, Monstro is it? on oh, it. Oh, that's and that's then, cool. I'm gonna send a picture. I'm gonna send this picture. Oh yeah, please! I want to see it. This looks awesome. Fuck! Fuck you! Hold what? on. It's just there. It's on the next page. Oh, that is pretty cool. I like that. It is, it's really cool. I like that. See, so yeah, I, I, um, I, I think, don't know if that would fit, but I think Pinocchio is a yes. I I agree. All right. Now that you mentioned, there yeah. we go. We we mm-hmm. we got a yeah. We got our first. All right, there there there. You have it. Pinocchio is a kaiju film. You heard it here first. What if, what if we have a dispute? Are we gonna fight about it? I I mean I I, I if we have a dispute uh. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put a, a I'll put a third category. You gonna flip a coin? We'll do that. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Next up, nine, another nineteen forty film, Fantasia. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Isn't like the big? I don't know. Actually, hold on. I mean, Fantasia does have the right of spring. Uh, uh, short in it with which has dinosaurs, which is like that's automatically. But it also has the the most well known, the more well known one, Night on Bald Mountain, with which has uh, Chernabog, which is just the devil. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I couldn't remember if that was in Fantasia or if it was in something else. Yeah, but no, that, that's... That, that's Fantasia. I would, I, 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 even if it wasn't for Night on Bald Mountain, Rite of Spring has dinosaurs, so auto that's an automatic yes. Yes. So there we oh, go. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's funny. I actually started watching Fantasia the other day. I don't think I've seen the original Fantasia in its entirety. I, I've seen Fantasia 2000 in its entirety, but I haven't seen the original in its entirety. So I was watching. So I I was watching Fantasia with uh, our number one fan, uh, Sam. And we were in the first segment with like the the walking like brooms. And Sam just said, this seems racist to me. <laughs> what does <laughs> so that mean? We turned it, we turned it off. <laughs> what do you mean that seems racist? They're brooms. To be honest, I think it was because at the beginning of the movie, there's a disclaimer that says that there's like depictions of people in the movie that do not like that are like offensive. Well, yeah, I think I think there's like there's like a. I think this is the one with the yeah, this the centaur, uh, the pastoral symphony. Uh, that's got like a blackface centaur. Yeah. So that yeah, that so... that is that is a hundred percent racist. Yes, but I don't I don't yeah. see how the sorcerer's apprentice would be racist. I I don't really know, and I can't even remember if I said it or if she said it. <laughs> I, we were we were both pretty high. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was it, it, that's a very interesting movie. <laughs> All right. Put it that way. Could I'll I'll take your word for it. All right, next okay. up, nineteen forty one, Dumbo. Yes, because elephant. Are we, are we considering elephants kaiju? Yeah. 
They're crazy. They're the craziest fucking animals on earth, man. <laughs> I mean, and, okay. And, okay. And, and, and big, big, stupid ears that he can <laughs> fly with, which means that he's a flying kaiju. You know what? That, that's fair. That's, that, that's definitely, I would definitely consider that strange. Yeah. Okay. Sue me. <laughs> you, know, you know, originally I, I would have said no, but you, you know what? That, that, that's, that's a fair point. Yeah. I okay, sure. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know, cause like ele- elephants, they're they're just, they're just they're just animals. They're just normal animals. I mean, they're just chilling. I a hundred percent agree that that they're uh, you know that they're cool animals, but the fact that he can fly and do a bunch of weird shit, mm-hmm. that's that's pretty strange. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess I guess get Dumbo is a kaiju film. Yes. <laughs> And if there's one thing that Ella King taught us is that kaiju can be cute. This is very true. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I that was not going. That was that did not go the way I expected. But okay. What would you do without me? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> next up, 1942, Bambi. I don't. Um, I, don't I think no. There, no. There, there's. There, I mean, it's again, it's Dumbo. They're just animals, but there's nothing like strange about the animals unless they're you really want to yeah they're just they're just normal animals i, I don't think there's unless, anything um, unless we're counting like the fucking ancient youtube video of um bambi meets godzilla oh i mean that that is a kaiju film obviously because godzilla's in it but yeah that, but that that's, this, that's, is, this that's, is just that's a fan film <laughs> that's not i don't think that's a fan film that's like an action that, that was like shown in theaters Oh what? I want to say it. Yeah, 1969. It came out. I want to even say it was like included. Yeah, it was included on the VHS home release of Godzilla 1985. Oh, I had no idea. I thought that was just something someone made on the internet. Yeah, no, that came out. No, yeah, 1969, Brian. Wow, that's less, crazy. Less than two minutes long. It is apparently seen as a classic of animation. Okay, that's news to me. That's that's kind of nuts. I. uh... You learn something new every day, yeah, I guess. I didn't, I didn't realize this was like so. I mean, I know it's like a, it's like a cult classic thing, but I didn't realize it was like considered important to the history of animation. Very weird. So are we are we considering that an extension of the movie Bambi? No, because just... because Disney had nothing to do with the short. Okay. I, All right. So so the original Bambi, just just 1942's Bambi, is a, is a resounding no. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. So the next couple, I think, are all going to be no's because they're. I mean, they're. I. I mean, I haven't seen them, but I. I. They're. They're. It's. It's. They're all. Um. They're like Fantasia. They're. They're just a bunch of shorts, uh, released in theaters in like one big. Um, are they like anthology. the wartime ones? No, or? not the wartime one. Well, they are the wartime ones, but they're not like. So all right. So anyway, anyways, um, the first is so 1942's Saludos Amigos. Um, I have not seen this one. There's a segment about Donald Duck going to Peru. There's one about a about an airplane. There's one about Goofy as a as a cowboy. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna say no to those. I'm gonna say no to that as well. Yeah. Again, I I have um, not seen Saludos Amigos. So if there are any Saludos Amigos uh, fans listening right now, if if you want to prove us wrong, feel free. <laughs> but uh, I yeah, uh, that's gonna be a no. Next up is 1944, The Three Caballeros. Which is, I think that's, this is also another, uh, oh god, this is a, this one has a lot of, uh, it's a lot of segments in it. Oh man. So it, the, 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 I can't, what's, what's the term for like, what's going on? So what, what's, what's the term for when it's an anthology film and there's like a, a narrative tying it all together. I know there's an there's a term for it. I thought it's just anthology, no? 
Well, it is an anthology, but there's like a narrative surrounding all the anthology, a frame narrative. That's what it is. Oh. Like, gotcha. like, for example, in VHS, you know, they go into the house and find all the VHS tapes and they're watching those and that's the show. Those oh, are the segments. That's, I that, see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, the frame narrative. Um, okay. But yeah, uh, so the frame narrative for this is just, uh, it, I don't even think there is, yeah, it's just Donald Duck gets, it's his birthday. Um, uh, okay. There's the one about a penguin. There's the one about a guy, a kid who has a donkey. I, I think we can confidently say no to all these. <laughs> I, think, I think you're right. Especially because this is a uh, pre Godzilla, so this Kaiju is that is it. that is true. But <laughs> but consider uh, the Max Fleischer Superman cartoons also predate Godzilla, but one of those has a giant dinosaur getting unfrozen from ice and and wreaking havoc through a city. So you know, true. I think I've actually seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh, actually, a uh, little mini news segment. I think those those shorts are getting a Blu-ray release this year, and I'm definitely going to get those because those shorts are fantastic if you haven't seen them. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so Three Caballeros, that's, a, that's another no. Okay, we still... We still big ones. Yeah, we, st yeah, we still have a couple... Uh, a, a couple anthology films here so we have make mine music uh, i've never even heard of that see i've only heard of these because um one of the youtube channels i follow uh shay frillis productions go go follow him uh if, if you if you like like animation and stuff like that uh he recently did a video ranking every single disney film ever and this was the Jesus. that was the first time I'd like heard of most a lot of these movies. That is a hell of a task. Yeah. I mean, there's there's one there's a segment in this one about a whale who wants to sing opera. But I'm I'm gonna That's I'm gonna a normal whale a normal whale, but he wants to sing opera. I'm gonna say no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, fun and fancy free. Uh, oh wait, this is not. Oh no, this is a package film. Never mind. Oh, hold on. This might actually have have one. Hold on, because it said that it says that there this one actually has a um a play on Jack and the Beanstalk. Which, if that's the case, and there's a giant in this, I would consider. Yep, there is a giant. It's a kaiju movie. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna bring up a picture of this guy, Willie the Giant. Let's see. Willie the Giant. Let's see, what does this guy look like? I mean, he's a giant. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm calling it. I'm calling it fun and fancy, fancy free as a kaiju movie. Yep. All right, yep, finally. We've, we've had a lot of no's recently. It's good to have another yes on the board. I know. We got to keep it equal here. I know. All right, Melody Time. Another, uh, another anthology movie. God, there's so many. Wait, this, Too one, many. <laughs> this one has a Johnny Appleseed animation? That's funny. What? Um, okay. I'm I'm looking through this. I'm I'm not I'm not really seeing anything that, that screams out kaiju to me. Yeah, I'm gonna say melody time is a no. Sad. Damn. Oh well, we have too many. We have too many no's. We're gonna have to make up for this it, with the big one. Believe me, Brian, we're gonna get some some yeses eventually. Don't you is worry. There, is there any way we can skip over some of these early kind of like no no because we're we're starting to get into like the big ones now. After after okay. after, after this one, there's there's one more anthology film, and then we're getting into like the big ones. So we have okay. the Adventures of Ichabod and Mister Toad. I want to say no. Because, like, I guess you could, con I, I mean, yeah, there's the Headless Horseman, but that's not really a kaiju. That's just, like, a spooky ghost guy. I mean, would you consider the spirits from uh, the, uh, the, 
like hundred ghosts and whatever. But those be... those aren't those are those are demons though. They're not like yeah, but, humanoid I mean, ghosts. Headless Horseman's kind of a demon. Mm, it's tough. He's I, a, I, I he's a wraithful spirit. So. Mm. He's he's mad. I don't know. You know what? Let's put this in the I don't know category for now. All right. I'm a, I, yeah, that we're undecided. <laughs> we're undecided I, on the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Because I would consider yokai and like you know evil spirits to be pretty okay. pretty similar. All right, and we would consider yokai to be you know true. Okay, so right. yeah, we'll we'll keep that in I don't know for now. All right. Okay. Next up, first, this is the first big one since since uh, Bambi, basically, uh, Cinderella. I don't. Oh think... my god! Wait. What? Oh my! Hold on. What? I gotta look something up. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm a little scared to know what you're looking up, Brian. Are you are you gonna are you gonna bring me bring me some like insane evidence as to why Cinder Cinderella is a kaiju film? Uh, I really hope you are. Because I'm 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 already ready to give Cinderella a no, but if you have some something for me, I am all uh, ears. No, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Okay, damn. What were you trying to look up? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I I remember. Don't don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Cinderella is definitely a no. Nothing really kaiju happens in that movie. Yeah. Uh, okay, next up, Alice in Wonderland. I don't... There's a lot of weird stuff in Alice in Wonderland, but nothing that I would consider kaiju. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess yeah, I guess so. I mean, it, it, if we were to do, like, like, the Alice books by Lewis and Carol, yeah, because I, I would definitely say, um... Oh, what's what's that thing called? Uh, the the weird mon the, the Jabberwocky like that's definitely a kaiju, but the Jabberwocky is not in Disney's Alice in Wonderland. So I I think I think this is a this is a no. What about the Tim Burton one? I I don't know because I've never seen that movie. Neither have I. That's also not <laughs> not not that's also an animated. That's not that's a live action movie, not an animated film. We're not we're not covering live action stuff today. I know. So, sorry, Alice in Wonderland. You're a no. Damn. All right, Peter Pan. Yes. What? Okay, why? Crocodile. Th that's just a normal crocodile, right? No, but he's got, you see, he's got a vendetta, and he's mad. <laughs> How does that make and it also, kaiju? And also, if you think about it, crocodiles are are kind of dinosaurs. Yes, but like... <laughs> and we count dinosaurs. We count dinosaurs. Yeah. We no. We count dinosaurs right. as kaiju. And crocodiles are... The crocodiles have been around for like millions of years. <laughs> Uh, but Brian, also this... this you movie, cannot argue with me. You know I'm right. But this movie's also racist, Brian. Listen, that's a losing battle. <laughs> We're talking about old Walt Disney here. I, that's you know that's a good point. But I I I can't I can't, I can't do Peter Pan as a yes, Brian. I'm sorry. What? I'm, Why? It's just a that's, normal crocodile. That's not. This isn't. This is committee. This is. This isn't a fucking dictatorship. <laughs> I'll give. I'll give it an. I don't know. I'm not putting it in yes. Oh my god! That I'm not. Sucks. I'm not putting Peter Pan in yes, Brian. You're cheating. How am I cheating? We're we're at You're odds cheating. on this one. I'm gonna add it to yes. Myself. Oh my god, Brian! I will. I we both have control over this document. God damn it! Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll leave it at the I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, Lady and the Tramp. No. No. Okay. It's just dogs. It's just dogs. This is true. I mean, they have that I mean, like really scary scene at the end with the rat, but that's just a rat. Yeah, it's just a rat. So you know, it's just a rat. 
Just just dogs doing dog stuff yeah. and then a scary rat at the right. end who thankfully, probably has rabies. Thankfully, we have an easy one next. Sleeping Beauty, there's a dragon at the end. That's a yes. Yep. There, Yes, there is. Hold on, did you just add that too? What? No, never mind. Whatever. All right, yeah, that was an easy yes, thank God. All right, next yep. up, 101 Dalmatians. That's it. It's just dogs again, man. Yeah, but Corella's kind of evil. She's evil, but like she's not a kaiju. She's just a person, right? She looks like a kaiju. She does, but she is just a human being. Yeah. So also completely well, not completely off topic, but sort of off topic to what we're doing. I watched the Cruella movie. Oh God, why? I don't know. I it wasn't that bad. <laughs> really? I heard it was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I was really high and I found oh, it entertaining, that's, that's but I was that's also fair. playing I was also playing a game of cards. So I don't <sighs> really know. Okay. It is she did not really seem like Cru Cruel Cruella from the movie. That's like, kinda what I heard. Yeah. Dalmatian. She it was kind of just like a different character from mm -hmm. a different thing, like an alternate version. I don't know. It was, I don't know. Wasn't, <laughs> the, wasn't the reason she wants to kill dogs because, like, dogs killed her mom or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's <fucked up. laughs> All right. Uh, next up, The Sword in the Stone. Um, I've never seen this one, but I think there's, like, a, dra a little dragon dude in it. I can't remember Hold on. His name. I think I have. Let me, let me. Yeah, there's, like, a little dragon dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it looks like uh, Madame Mim, who's, like, the the villain in the movie, she turns into a dragon. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take it. Kaiju. Got to kaiju. Uh, okay. See, we're, we're getting up there in the yeses, Brian. You were, you were, you were worried. Good. All right, next up, The Jungle Book. I'm going to say no. Anything I say about it, you're just going to... You're going to get mad at me. Well, so, what were you going to no. say, Brian? Was there a crocodile in it? I, I don't think so. No? No, I don't think uh, so. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm imagining something. Mm. I don't know. If we I, were think, to, uh, I, I think you're right. I, I'll say this, though. If we were talking about the remake, uh, absolutely, because they made King Louis like an Australopithecus, like a giant orangutan. So, oh, but shit. We're not talking about the remake. So that's a no. Okay. Sorry, the Jungle Book. All right, next, the Aristocats, which I think today just got announced that we're getting a live action of that movie. No. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> have fun with that. Um, I've you the um, they can't keep getting away with it meme. Yeah, honestly, um, <clears throat> I've never seen this movie, but as I understand, it's 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 just cats. Yeah, I think it's, think it's yeah, just, it's just cats. cats. All right, that's a no. Sorry, the Arist. I know, I know, the Aristocats has it has it has a loyal following, but I don't think I. I it's not. It's not a kaiju movie. Sorry. Mm -mm. All right, Robin Hood. Um, I don't think there's anything kaiju in Robin Hood, is there? They're just animals. I don't know why, but I thought there was. Hold on. I mean, there's a crocodile in it, but. Oh please, Brian, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Strange beast, Brian. Strange beast. Oh, God damn it. If the In crocodile... my opinion, crocodiles are strange. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, fine, you win. Okay. <laughs> you asshole. Oh, God. All right. Uh, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is an, an anthology film as well. I don't think... Uh, no. No. I'm not going to make a joke about my boy Winnie the Pooh. Neither would I. I love Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. I'll admit I cried during Christopher Robin. I'll say it. Okay. I never watched it. Oh, you Probably really? should. It's really, really good. I have an aversion to movies that make me sob after I watched uh, Hachi, A Dog's Tale, where I couldn't stop crying. That's mm -hmm. fair. I mean, it, literal like sobbing, ugly crying. Like, I mean, that, 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 that was that was me like when I saw it in theaters because like 
<laughs> it wasn't even like the anything in the movie itself. It was just like the Winnie the Pooh theme being played on a soft piano was enough to like get me weepy. I'm like, oh fuck, yeah. <laughs> this movie's gonna destroy me. Um, it's always when it's always when movies they use the um they use like sad music. Yeah, like how um episode three of The Last of Us cheated and they used the Arrival music. <laughs> What? <laughs> you don't know about that? No, I haven't watched the show. Okay, in the show, the episode three is like very sad, uh, mm. and they use uh they use a track from Arrival. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Why? And it's it's just a really sad piece of music, and it's just cheating because it makes me sad. Oh god! <laughs> not the not this. I mean, the scene was very impactful, but the the music, like I I say, it's cheating because mm. it, it alone you know gets me emotional <clears throat> right all right next up is the rescuers and this might be a hot take i've never actually seen this movie i know people really really like the uh, both rescuers movies but i have never seen it i've also never seen it all right now brian i think this 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 might i i think we need to establish a rule um going forward now that we're getting into some of this, this kind of stuff what wait yeah i know wait i i know i know i know what you're gonna say and this this is why i'm I'm bringing up this rule what so in these films what would we consider a kaiju i think the way we should consider it is if it's a kaiju compared to our main characters yeah so okay, I I can see that. Yeah, so like they're they're like mice in this movie or something, right? So you'll let me get away with the alligators this time. I will let you get away <laughs> with alligators this time. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Okay. Besides, it's been also a while. the woman in this movie is like horrifying looking. Is she okay? Again, I've never seen it, so I'll I'll take your word for it. No, like I'm gonna just send you this screenshot, okay. <laughs> and you're just yeah, just. It's gonna be right below the uh, the monstro picture. Okay, monstro picture. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I guess I just replaced it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, she's kind of horrifying. I hate, that. I hate that. It's disgusting. I also, I also don't like that. She's a kaiju. <laughs> she's a kaiju. Uh, okay. She's also a kaiju. I mean, hey, in relation to the main characters, this is true. All right, next yeah. up, uh, The Fox and the Hound. I don't think anything... Isn't there, like, a really scary bear? Is there? Yeah. I, I don't know. I've never, I, I've never seen this one either. Yeah, there is, and the bear is really scary. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would, I would classify this as a kaiju. No, no joke. Because this bear scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Okay. Uh, uh, there. Oh wow! And this bear is huge compared to the the fox and the, the hound. The, tit the titular fox and hound. Yeah, it is very big. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll, we'll we'll get we'll, we'll get some more yeses on the board. Why not? He's scary. Actually, there's a really really good picture right here that shows just how big he is. Let, Let me, me see it, Brian. It. Let me see it. There he is. Holy shit, that's a big fucking bear. <laughs> the big bear. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yep. All right, next up, uh, The Black Cauldron. Never seen this one, but it feels like the kind of movie that would have a dragon in it. Can can, can you confirm? I, all right, plot, I see the King, the Horn King's dragon-like, oh, wait, creatures, which may, leads me to believe that maybe they're, they're, they're not small. They're, they're, they're just small, so I don't know. Um... Let me look. Looking at the poster, I would say that there is a lot of weird... Yeah, I would say that there's kaiju, because there's, like, some weird mystical shit in here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. How big are these things? Uh, they don't They don't look very big. They look like the size of birds. <sighs> mm, it's tough. It's tough. You know what? I'll say I yes. The, I'm going to give, give it a the yes. Horned King, the Horned King is taller than the main character, and he's pretty spooky. So. Well, define taller, Brian, because isn't he like a, a child? 
That's fair. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. But you know, I, I'm going to give it a yes though because you know, think about it this way: Ultraman, they have like human-sized villains all the time. They, also, they end up growing like, big, yeah, but still. It's just strange beast. Does it have to be taller? Yeah. See, now we're like getting into like we're, we're gonna we're gonna break I, down I our think, own ideas. I think Ryan. it's actually an important question. <laughs> would you consider would you consider like a goblin a strange beast? I would, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it definitely makes it a lot easier if something is giant. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the Great Mouse Detective. I I want to say no. <laughs> what are you bringing up, Brian? I'm just gonna look this up because I've never even heard of this before. I mean, it, it, I'll give it a special shout out because I believe uh, Akira Takarada was the Japanese dub for Radigan in this film, but I don't. I think that's the only like kaiju connection this movie has. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I recognize this. Uh, no, I don't think there is. Yeah. Oh well. No. But again, still, it still gets a special shout out for Akira Takarada. There's a there's a, a cute dog though. There is a, a good cute boy. dog. Yeah, I am gonna just double check that it is Takarada in this film. I know he play, I know he's the voice of he's the Japanese voice of Jafar in Aladdin. That's pretty. Oh, rad. okay, no, it's not. So it's not him in as Radigan. Who am I thinking of then? I don't know. Oh well, uh, Oliver and Company. I don't think so because this is just a retelling of Oliver the Musical. Just for in in the form of animals. I, I'm pretty sure there's no. There's no, there's nothing kaiju related in this film. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, yeah. that's a no. I think the next, yeah, all right, next one, easy. Little Mermaid. Ursula gets real big at the end. Absolutely. So that's a that's a definite yes. Easy. Next up, the rescuers down under. Are there any alligators in this one? Uh, uh, the first, the first thing I see in 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 the plot synopsis is is crocodiles. So fuck it, I'm giving it a yes. Hell yeah! Do you think that uh, Disney just has some dude or woman that just constantly make cranks out like crocodiles? Oh, for maybe. Movies? <laughs> all right, so all right, here's we're we're getting to a tough one now, Brian. Okay. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. You think so? I think so, yeah. I don't know. It's tough because, like... Look, he... at, look at it from... Okay, don't look at it from... I know what the, the thing that we're doing here is we're looking at it from, like, the main character's mm -hmm. perspective. But, like, look at it from the main character's perspective before knowing who the beast is okay so you're 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 saying you want us to to act like gaston right now and be racist brian <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> okay outward appearance he's a strange beast i i suppose that's fair also ella king strange beast but also nice <laughs> <laughs> i mean the niceness isn't the thing i don't know i don't know uh, you know, I'll give it. I'll, sh screw it. I'll give it a yes. He's a beast. It's in the name. I think. I think so. I. I think it would be stupid if we didn't because he is a beast. It, is, it a beast. is in the name of the movie. That's fair. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Aladdin. I want to say yes because it's got the the cave, the the big tiger yeah. mouth cave, and also Jafar when he becomes a genie at the end. He's a big big old dude. Yeah, I mean, also kind of like I don't know. I was gonna say the genie, but not really. He's, he's yeah. He's 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 definitely strange. I wouldn't say he's a beast, but he's definitely strange. Yeah, I guess it would kind of fall in the same category as like a spirit. Yeah. I mean, Jin genie, those are the same things basically. So you know, yeah, yeah, I would say Aladdin, and this one, this one, this one d does a hundred percent have Akira Takarada in it, so it's definitely a special shout out. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, speaking of Akira Takarada, because I still have the tab open, he did voice Radigan, but oh no, no, he yeah, no, he was Radigan in Great Mass Detective. Never mind. 
I'm just stupid. I just didn't read far enough. Wow. Okay, uh, um, The Lion King. I don't think so. They're just animals. Um, no? I yeah, don't think so. I don't, th- I don't think there's anything kaiju-related in The Lion the King. The hyenas are kind of scary. They're scary, but like... They're they're smaller than our main characters. Yeah, but they also had a lot of big bone piles, and that was scary. That's scary, but those are just bones. That's just scenery. That's fair. Um. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I'll Not say. Not really. Say. No. I'll, that's that's a no. Moving on. Yeah. Pocahontas. I, I don't. I don't think so. No. There's the tree lady, but that's just a tree. The real kaiju was colonization. This is true. Uh, okay, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Never actually seen this one, I'll be honest. Um, They got the gargoyles. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't know. I'd say probably not. Probably not? Okay. Because the gargoyles, they're just... You know, regular just stone gargoyles. I suppose, right? but they talk. No... Uh, they don't do anything, though, That's do they? True. All right. We'll say no, and we'll move right on into a very, very easy one. And my favorite Disney movie of all time, Hercules. Uh, Yes. Easy, because it's got the Hydra. Easy, yes. <clears throat> oh, we should, you know what? Fuck it, Brent. We should just review Hercules at some point. I fucking love that movie so much. I'd be dumb. Can we talk about how Kratos kills him? I was talking about Hercules the Disney film, Brian. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's funny? In my head, every everything that's Greek, that's like Greek mythology is connected and it connected eventually ends up okay. Kratos killing everybody. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is cuz like didn't they for God of War 3, didn't they get um oh god, what's his name? Kevin Sorbo, the guy who played Hercules in the TV show to voice Hercules in God of War? Let me look. I'm pretty sure they did. They got him to re- me... quote unquote reprise the role. Let me confirm this. Yep, God of War Three, Hercules. Yep. Very funny. Very funny. That is pretty funny. I like that. <clears throat> All right, what do we got next? Uh, Mulan. There's a dragon, yeah. but he's small. He's a tiny little guy. Yeah, he's small, but he is a strange beast. I suppose that's fair. And we also counted the other dragon from Sleeping Beauty. That is true. So. That is very true. So Mulan is a yes. And also, yeah. um, Shan Yu, he's, he's, he's a... Wait, no, not, not Shan Yu. Who's the, the villain? I know who you're talking about, but he's just kind of a creepy guy. Yeah, but yeah, but he's creepy. <laughs> but then we should have counted like a billion other dudes <laughs> that we've already passed. All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, Tarzan. Um, no. Yeah. I mean, he fights a leopard, but he's kind of the same size. Yeah. And he's also capable. True. So. All right. Tarzan's a no. Also, I'm just going to say it. We don't have time for Pixar movies. <laughs> oh, come on. Five. We're only at, we're, we're fine. We'll, so we, we'll Let's get to the end of the, the actual Disney movie and we'll say. Um, Fan, right. Fantasia 2000. I never saw it, so I don't know. I, it's been a long, long time since I saw it. I'm just looking through it. I want, I want to say, um, I don't know. It's been too long since I've seen it. I mean, I see something that has like a a, a fiery spirit of destruction, but I don't know what it looks like. I don't know how big it is. Hold on. Oh wait! Firebird, Fantasia. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. I actually remember that. This looks I think like. I have seen it. Oh, that looks like a kaiju to me. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. That's a kaiju. That's basically just Rodan and King of the Monsters. Yeah, Fantasia two thousand's a kaiju movie. All right. Next up, another easy one. Also released in two thousand. Dinosaur. 
Uh, absolutely. I just rewatched it. What a banger! Yeah, you talked about that on the episode on last week's episode. Goddamn right, I did. All right. Next up, the Emperor's New Groove. I don't think there's anything kaiju related. I actually also just watched this. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I mean, it's a great movie, it's just, but it's nothing I kaiju. Just watched, I, I just watched it like um, over the weekend because I was because mm-hmm. Sam and I were bored. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about it already because I I identify with Kronk. Okay. <laughs> so would you but, would, um, would you agree that I actually, it's not a kaiju? I kaiju? actually do do have oh, an argument. Okay, here. I'm listening. There is a point where um during the final act, one of the guards that is like chasing after um uh Oh my god! I already forgot the main. Uh, god, my I'm really bad with names. The main character, Cusco. Yeah, Cusco and uh, um, Pasha. Pacho is that Pacha? Pasha. They're 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 being chased uh, by like these guards, and they like throw all the vials of like the whatever that changes people into mm-hmm. animals and stuff. And one of the guards gets turned into a giant walking octopus that then is holding like a like a, a weapon. Okay. And you don't see it directly. You don't see it directly, but you do see the shadow of it. All right, fair enough. It's it. I'll take it. It's a yes. And also, I'm fairly certain that Cusco at some point in that scene gets turned into a giant whale. All so, right, I'll take it. Yeah. All right. Next up I came is prepared. You get good job, Ryan. I, I was pre- I was one hundred percent prepared to get that a no, but you you convinced me otherwise. Um, You're welcome. All right, uh, Atlantis: The Lost Empire. On uh, on first glance, a no, but remember, it's got those big robot lobsters. I want to say this. Th- th- I, I this was like the original. Um, th- this this was the re- this movie is the reason we did this because. We had, on my other podcast, No Croissant, with uh, Chris Condi and Nick Huber, uh, we had interviewed Tab Murphy, who was the one of the writers on this film, about his pitch for uh, the sequel to Godzilla 1998. And we were talking about Atlantis the Lost Empire with him. And that's that's what kind of led to this idea being a thing. So I, 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 I think it's a yes, easily, Atlantis. This movie looks so familiar, but it's really good, yeah. Brian. You sh- if you have not seen Atlantis, you should definitely watch it. It's I think I have watched it. I just think it's been like a long time. Well, I'm giving it a yes regardless. Okay, I'll I'll take your word for it. You say it's got mechs in it. I it's got, I agree. It's got here. I'll I'll I'll, br- I'll bring up a picture for you. Okay. Well, it's called it's called the Leviathan. Oh, that's a good name. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah, that's that's def- that's a definite yes. I like it. All right. I uh, agree. Another easy one, I think, Lilo and Stitch. Yep. Even if you're not counting like Stitch himself, uh Captain Gantu, he's a he's a he's a big dude. I actually also just rewatched this. <laughs> I, I it's been so long since I've seen Leland Stitch. I got to rewatch it because that was also like one of my favorites uh, as a kid. Man, this is a good. This is a good movie. It is. It's so good. I remember seeing this, this is the really this is, that's one of the movie the earliest movies I remember seeing in theaters was Leland Stitch. Yeah, it was a it's a really good movie. Uh, next up, Treasure Planet. Never actually seen it. Oh man, I watched that. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, they're aliens, but they're like it's that's kind of just like the norm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think it's so. it just it's it's like, it's like a space opera. So I don't think there's really anything, anything going on, go, anything kaiju e going on there. No, I don't. I don't think so. All right, sorry, Treasure yeah. Planet. And hey, look, Brian. See, you were so worried. We have more yeses than nos on the board right now. Good. <laughs> Uh, next up, Brother Bear. They're just bears, man. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I mean, there's a slightly bigger bear at the end, but it's still just bears. Yeah. Yeah, that's a no. All right. Next up, Home on the Range, a movie I keep forgetting exists, but they're just cows. 
Why does this sound familiar to me? I don't know. I'm pretty sure like no one likes this movie, so. Oh yeah, I think I know. I think I've. I definitely have not watched this movie, but I know of it. Mm -hmm. Looks familiar. All right, what else we got? Chicken Little. Yes. Yes. Because the aliens. I suppose you know that's fair. Yeah. They're not that big. movie. I I remember distinctly seeing that in theaters. I do too. It was bad. <laughs> It was a bad movie. All right, this, uh, this but you know what? It is nostalgic. Uh, maybe for you, not really for me. I mean, I don't like it, but it's definitely nostalgic. Fair. All right, another easy one, I think. Meet the Robinsons. Not only is there are there big robot hats near, in the uh, near the end, but there's also a dinosaur. Yep. So that's that's a, that's a good movie. I love Meet the Robinsons. I, I remember seeing that in theaters. Mm. I don't even know. I know I've seen it like once, yeah. but I, I, I mean I haven't seen I haven't not seen it since then. So, all right, uh, Bolt. There's nothing kaiju in that. They're just animals. <laughs> That's like most Disney movies, though. I know, but like, there's nothing. Animals. There's there's nothing like, you know, arguably kaiju, you know. Yeah, that's fair. So that's a no for me. Sorry, Bolt. Uh, the princess and the frog. I don't. I don't think there are. Nah, I don't think so either. And this is bad too. I've never actually seen that movie, and I know people love that movie. Tangled, another one I haven't seen, but everyone says is really good. But I don't think there's kaiju in that either. Mm. -mm. Damn, another no. We're getting, we're getting, we're, it looks like we're actually like pretty closely, closely tied. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. No. I think this, is this another? No, okay. I have not seen this one either. I mean, they do have the Heffalump, but I'm pretty sure that is, I mean, that's, that's the monster, right? The Heffalumps, the Heff, 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 yeah, the Heffalumps and Woozles. Yeah, but are they like monstrous? Hold on, let me look this up. Well, that's the thing. Like, Pooh and his friends think they're monstrous, but I think this—the whole thing about this movie—is that they're not actually monstrous. They're just kind of elephant-looking things. God damn it! I look at Winnie the Pooh, and fucking all I get is the is blood and honey. God damn it! <laughs> wow, that cursed. sucks. I'm very cursed. sorry. All right, you make the decision without me. I'm too lazy. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Because the whole again, the whole point of the movie is that they're not actually monsters. Yeah. Uh Wreck It Ralph. There the there's the all the big bugs. There's that that like Call of Duty esque game that has like big bugs in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I never saw it. Oh, you haven't seen Wreck It Ralph? Oh, it's so good. No, never. I'm gonna say I haven't yes. seen like any of the newer ones. Wreck It so... Ralph is real, real good. You'd like it. Okay. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Alright, this one is gonna be contentious, but Howard assures me that there is actually like some controversy with this one. Frozen. What? So in Frozen, uh, when Elsa goes off to make her castle and be by herself, she makes a big snowman named Marshmallow. And apparently there is actual arguments online as to whether or not Marshmallow counts as a kaiju. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay. Um, uh, uh, look, look it up. Look him up, and, and, and you, you tell me. Just look up like Marshmallow Frozen, and, and I, I'm, I'm willing to give it a yes. Nah. Okay, I can see it. Yeah, right. I'll give it a yes. Sick. <laughs> Frozen's a kaiju movie. You heard it here first. Confirmed. Uh, Big Hero Six is an easy yes, not because there's a kaiju in it, but um. TJ Miller's character, who I don't, uh, Fred, when he makes his, his, when they be, when they decide to do all superhero stuff, he specifically, like, he likes kaiju, so his whole superhero stick is that he's in a kaiju suit. That breathes, <laughs> that breathes, that breathes fire. That's pretty awesome. So that's, that's an easy yes. Even though yeah. TJ Miller sucks and he's a terrible person, I'm still giving it a yes for that. 
Yeah. Uh, Zootopia. I don't think there's anything kaiju in this movie. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't think there is. Yeah, I'm willing to agree. I mean, I I haven't really I haven't seen it, so. All right, sorry, Zootopia. Tell me all the new all the new Disney movies. I I'm just not gonna know because I I don't. That's fair. I haven't seen them. Uh, Moana. That's an easy yes because the big yes the big I did watch that too. Has the big uh volcano spirit thing. So that's that's definitely I, a I, yes. Yeah. Also because got the big woman. <laughs> and Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Which my God, <laughs> Dwayne Johnson is going on a. I, have you heard any of the stuff about him with Shazam? I know he's kind of losing his shit. He is. Like, apparently, they wanted to have Shazam in a cameo in Black Adam as, like, a post credit scene, and Dwayne Johnson said, no, I don't want Shazam in my movie where I'm playing Shazam's biggest villain. Wow. And, like, Zachary Levi, like, basically confirmed that actually happened. So, very funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Fucking man. Dude, remember when we, when we liked Dwayne Johnson back when we did the Rampage review? And now everyone's just, his, his ego's just gotten so big that we don't like him anymore. Maybe uh, maybe Vin Diesel was right about him. Maybe. I mean, Vin Diesel kind of sucks too. Yeah, Vin, Vin Diesel also kind of sucks. They both suck. They're just two dudes uh, who have like massively inflated egos. Yeah, that's the thing. So, uh, yeah. All right, Ralph Breaks the Internet. It sucks, but the whole the the climax of the movie has like a big King Kong reference, so a hundred percent it's a kaiju movie. Can't argue with that. All right, Frozen Two. Never actually watched it, but I I want to say Marshmallow was in it. Yeah, he's well, in it. If he's in it, then yeah, he's in it. Raya and the Last Dragon. Well, it's right there in the name. There's a dragon, so that's a yes. Even though yeah. I heard that movie kind of sucked. Uh, I haven't heard anything about it. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's pretty much what it was. Like no one really talked about it. Also because it came out the same year as in, as Encanto, and Encanto slapped. But also Encanto was not a kaiju movie, so it can't slap that hard. That's true. Oh wow! So you just added it now? <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, because the only like. I the, all the characters are literally humans, and then there's the house. But, like, it, the house isn't a kaiju. No. If we're talking about Monster House, then absolutely, but that's not the case here. Oh, I love Monster House. It's what been so movie. long since I've seen Monster House. I rewatched it, like, a month or so ago, and man. Man, is that movie dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really dark. All right, and now we come to the last, most recent Disney film, Strange World. Didn't see it because it didn't look very interesting, and apparently it wasn't that good, but I've seen the trailers, and I can already say that, yes, it's a kaiju movie. I've never even heard of it, so... You, well, there's a reason for that, because Disney didn't advertise it at all, and it did poorly uh, in the box office because of rip. that. And a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of people are thinking it's because that, like... There was a character that was openly gay, and that was actually like kind of part of his character. And people are thinking mm, maybe that's why Disney didn't advertise it as much because they didn't they didn't want to make that a big deal. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me either. Um, the only th the thing I the, the only thing I like about Strange World is that really cringy uh, interview that they did uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal and two of the other actors, and. He does this. He does this really cringy thing, he, like trying to relate like the movie to like real world stuff. And he's like, I, "I think the world we live in now is a pretty strange world too." And then he just sits there, and like no one, not even the cast members he's with, like reacts to it, and they just move on with the interview. It's so bad. What, what the? Fuck? It's so bad, Brian. I will send it to you when I get home. It's so Please bad. Don't. Please don't, because the way <laughs> you just described it made me cringe so hard, <laughs> and I can only imagine what the actual clip is going to be. Because he's, like, me. so confident in the joke, too. He's oh so confident, God. so it's even worse. Oh. It's so funny. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. All right. Holy shit. Well, so that's all the Disney movies. Do, you, do we want to do Pixar real quick? 
How many Pixar movies um, are there? I'm going to find out one second. Because I know, because Pixar, we could definitely get a couple in. Let's see. Filmography. List of Pixar films. Um, they oh, 26. Jesus, that was more than I thought it, was, it would be. Want to just do it? Don't want to just like kind of rapid fire them? Yes. All right, cool. Uh, Toy Story, Sid's Dog. Yeah. Cool. A Bug's Life, The Bird. Yes. <laughs> the Bird. <laughs> Toy Story 2? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything kaiju related in that. No. Okay. I've only ever seen the first one. So. What? What the fuck, Brian? I'm sorry. I'm just not really with it, I Damn. guess. Damn. Toy Story 2 is really good. So is 3. 4 is whatever. <laughs> or maybe I have seen 2. I don't know. I'd have to actually go back and look. Mm. I might have seen them and I'm just not remembering. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Yes. I would say yes, but not for the reason you're thinking, Brian, because all the characters are monsters already, but there's also the big uh the ch- the, the big chicken that they talk to at work when they're on their way to on their yeah, on their way to work. That's what I was referring to. Oh, okay, cool. Uh Finding Nemo. <laughs> yes. I would say yes because both A when Bruce smells the blood and he goes like berserk and also the anglerfish. Yeah. I was mainly thinking about the anglerfish. Yeah. That was my first thought when like Howard and I were talking about this. Yeah. Uh, the they also inc- got they also got swallowed by a whale. That's so. true. I forgot about that. Uh, the Incredibles. I mean, you got the Omni Joy. That's a big robot. Yeah, that's a yes. That, I think that might be my favorite. One of my favorite robot designs. It's ever. so good. I love the Omni Droid. It is real good. Anything that turns into a roly poly, I'll get behind. <laughs> uh, cars. They're they're just cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh Ratatouille? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the the head chef. The head chef. <laughs> he's small. He's like she's like really short. Yeah, but but mean. <laughs> okay. Um Wally, I don't think so. Yeah, the humans. No, but they're like a main part of the movie. They're like also main characters, so I wouldn't consider them part kaiju. Ugh. Fine. All right. Uh, up. I mean, there's Kevin. He's a big, weird bird. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> I didn't think. I wasn't expecting us to give up. Whatever. Uh, Toy Story three. That's a no. Cars two. Also a no. Yeah. Monsters University. I don't... Never saw it. I don't... I mean, I like Monster University, but I don't think there's anything kaiju-related. Mm. Inside Out? I don't think so. I only saw it the one time, but I don't think so. Uh, The Good Dinosaur? There's dinosaurs. It's a kaiju movie. It's gotta. Yeah. Finding Dory? I don't remember, but I don't think so. Don't know. Never saw it. Cars 3, once again, just cars. Oh, more cars. More cars. Coco, I don't think so. I think they're just they're just skeletons. Sorry, Coco. Mm-hmm. Incredibles 2, I don't think so. Never I only saw, saw it. it the one time. Oh god, I think we're like getting Oh no. We might have more no's <laughs> than yeses now, Brian. Oh shit. Um Toy Story 4. I don't think so. Oh, God. We have more no's now. Oh, this is bad. Maybe we shouldn't have done Pixar. Um, Onward, I never saw it. I, I'd be willing to bet there's a dragon in it, but having not seen it myself, I, I, I can't say. Let me look it up. I'm going to try to salvage this. Okay. I mean, we can retroactively salvage it by saying Monsters University just because it's monster. Oh, wait, no. No, Monsters University is... Because the librarian is, like, really, really big. She's, like, a big squid monster. Okay. Uh, there is, like, a weird dragon thing and onward as Fuck well. it. I'll take it. We got we to gotta salvage it, Brian. Uh, soul, right. there is literally nothing. They're just people. They're just actual people. Great movie, okay. but not a kaiju movie. Uh, Luca, 
I mean, the main characters are like sea monsters and like interacting with humans. What what do we think? Because like Ragon exists, like the Ultra Q version of Ragon exists. I'd say yeah. You think so? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, turning red. That's obviously absolutely. Yes. They have that whole scene at the end, which I stand by as a reference to Gamera Guardian of the Universe. Dude, for as much as that movie makes me just like want to curl up in the fetal position. <laughs> With how awkward it can be, mm-hmm. I love that movie. I mean, that's the, I think that's the point. It's supposed to be awkward. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Lightyear. Movie, movie slap. <laughs> Lightyear's a no. I mean, Zerg's big, but not like too big. And also, the movie sucks. I thought we we didn't need it to didn't need them to be big. I guess, but it's still just a dude in a big robot suit. Oh, uh, okay. So that's Fair. a no. All right, Fine. Let, that's so that's it. That's di- for it for Disney and Pixar. So we we we, we did... also got the two tiebreakers down on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Well, fuck. What were the tiebreakers? <laughs> I don't know. We should have written fuck, it down. You're right. We should have. Oh, Damn it's it. fine. Who cares? You know what? It Sc- looks pretty even. Screw it. We'll just put one. We'll just do one in each then. That's not helpful, but that's fine. I know one of them was a crocodile. I know. All right, let's see. Uh, I'll count the yeses, you count the noes. Okay. I have 41 yeses. 40. Wow. Wow. I'm... Almost a, a totally even split. Wow. That's I'm... a one difference. That's insane. So 51%. <laughs> Of Disney movies. <laughs> our kaiju movies. Our, our kaiju movies under Very our cool. Rules. Very cool. And Very cool. Obviously, we are the like bastions of kaiju knowledge, so take what we and say at a hundred percent correct and factual. Our word is law. Is exactly is law. Um so if you wanna realistically though, like if if you guys have any any arguments against or for any of these, I'd love to hear them. I would legitimately love to hear them. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, Brian, I just realized if it wasn't for the Monsters University thing, it, there would be more no's than yeses. Oh my God. I'm glad we changed that at the last second. I am also glad we changed <laughs> that at the last second. Uh, but yeah, uh, all right. So that that was a lot of fun. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad we did this. We'll have to do this again for something else. Yeah, we will. I don't know how we're, what we're gonna do because like, what other studio has like that many movies that we can pull from from the repertoire? Like DreamWorks. I, I guess DreamWorks, but like I feel like a lot that that's gonna be. They don't even. That's don't, gonna have a lot of yeses. Yeah. Actually, I, I have do, a lot I of do, dragons. I do. Uh, I I put I posted on Twitter about this uh, the other day because uh, I think the, like discussing film or something posted that it was coming to Netflix. Uh, we should. I I would love to do a review for the How to Train Your Dragon films because they are very yeah, very I, good. I mean, I remember that um, you had mentioned that at some point. Yeah, because you past. haven't seen them, right? Nope. None yeah. Of them. They are very, very good. They and they are. It might be the best animated trilogy. I mean, it probably would have been Toy Story, but now they're doing Toy Story Five, so that's no longer a trilogy. So, <laughs> I would say, yeah, How to Train Your Dragon is like probably one of, if not the best animated trilogy. And but yeah, I'd love to cover it. They're they're really really phenomenal films. Yeah, but, no, I'd be down. Cool. All right. Yeah. So. Now you guys know that more than 50% of Disney's repertoire, of their animated repertoire at least, um, is there, they are kaiju movies. So now you know. Yeah. I'm glad that we came to this we, conclusion. We went on this journey together, Brian. Me too. We did go. This was indeed a journey that mm-hmm. we went on together. All right. Well, let's uh, do our final segment and wrap up. This is getting to be a long, long episode because we have had had a bunch of short episodes recently, too. Um, Yes. Moving on to our what new cool kaiju thing are you checking out right now? Brian, is there anything kaiju thing cool that you're checking out right now or nah? 
Uh, everything that I said I was gonna watch, I I watched it. Haha, ha, I did it. Uh, Whoa, uh, good job, April Ryan. Fools. April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> wow, you really got me with that one, Brian. I really got you on the 27th of March. <laughs> wow, so cool. What a funny prank. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I really got you, huh? <laughs> uh, I know, not really. No? Okay, that's what I figured. Well, I got two things I can talk about. One will be very short, and the other will be slightly less short um i went to see godzilla tokyo sos in theaters the other day it was really really oh cool. yeah yeah I, I meant to I, I wanted to see it but i i couldn't make it out mm. yeah it was it was a lot of I fun was, it, it the same how thing again rex <clears throat> you're what how is guy again rex on the big screen um well let me tell you brian uh it was kind of funny because we get to the we get into the theater and um it's the Gigan Rex starts up. It, you know, it's got that that shot of Godzilla. They're, they're recreating the end shot of Godzilla versus Destroya, and it cuts to black. And I'm like, hold on, it didn't cut to black in the in the short. And and I hear the audio keep playing, and the screen's still black. I'm like, oh no. Uh, <laughs> so uh, and, and, and and like I my, I had some friends come with me, and like one of them leaned over, was like, is it supposed to be like so? I'm like, no, no, it's not. I'll be right back. Uh, so I go out. And I, and I text her like, "Tell me if if tell me if uh, it comes back before I get back I, before I find someone." And um, I go up to the desk, say, "Hey, I think the projector just blew out in theater nine. And they're like, "Oh no, it's 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 I, I someone's checking on it. Should be good." Um, not the case. It took them like three or four tries to like actually get the projector back on. Like they restarted Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex three or four times. <laughs> Before oh, it actually no. worked. So that was a great start to the night. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I will say it, it was similar to seeing Godzilla against Mechagodzilla in theaters. You know, I had a bit of a, you know, it was kind of a touching moment. Like, oh, man, this this is great. Like, to, to have this available as an option to people, like seeing this in a theater is such a cool thing that, you can just do nowadays because that never happened when we were kids you know it was great it was sure. it was really it was really heartwarming um we just went to whoever was blessed with the biggest tv screen exactly uh interesting thing about it is that a uh they veer they very clearly didn't rip it from the blu-ray because it wasn't choppy like against mechagodzilla was and unlike the blu-ray it wasn't dub titles all this all the subtitles were you know like newly translated which oh shit yeah I was really shocked because I'm like that's not how that line went in on the on the on my Blu-ray release so yeah that was really interesting I I don't know where they what's what they were sourcing that from I don't know if maybe they got it like straight from Toho um so yeah and that being said it was the first time I've actually seen uh the the title card for that movie and it's all in all its glory because on the blu-rays they always have the english title superimposed over the japanese title card which always sucks because those title card sequences in the millennium series are all really really good looking so it was nice to finally yeah. see the actual title card um, i know it's not I, I know it's not a very controversial take but the uh, gmk title sequence is still my favorite it's really good and it's even worse because like when they do the English title card, they not only do they superimpose it, they also like have a gray backdrop on it, so it's it's covering even more of the Japanese title card on that one. Yeah, it's, it's bad, uh, real bad. But yeah, Tokyo yeah. SOS was a lot of fun in theaters. Um, it's it's still not quite as good as against Mechagodzilla because some of the characters aren't quite as good, but they're still pretty solid. Good movie overall, though. Um. Yeah. But the main thing I want to talk about today, Brian, let me tell you, as I've covered in the last couple couple uh, episodes, I've been watching all the Transformers movies to prepare oh for Transformers: God. Rise of the Beasts. And here we go. Last I said, I'd, I'd watched Dark of the Moon, which was the last film I've actually seen previously. So I have since watched Transformers: Age of Extinction and Transformers: The Last Night. Um, do, would you like to hear my th thoughts on them, Brian? 
<clears throat> well, you told me your thoughts on um, Age of Extinction. Yes, uh, Age of Extinction. Uh, Age of Extinction. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll 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 briefly cover that right now. Um, it's it's fine. It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's just kind of bloated. There's too much going on. They really are unsure as to who they want the main antagonist to be, and that's kind of the biggest the biggest falling of the film. Also the fact that Cade Yeager is like not nearly as fun a character as Sam Witwicky, but overall it's not like terrible. It's just kind of whatever. But he's an inventor. He's an inventor, Brian. I know, but holy fucking shit, Brian transformers. The last night is just dreadful. It is (laughs) dreadful. I watched that today. Because oh, I watched no. that today. Oh my god, it's bad. I was like, waiting. Irredeemable. To hear. Irredeemable. Like, so here's the here's the thing. It's it's really weird because like as not good as those movies are, there's still like an inherent charm to them. Like I still found Age of Extinction kind of charming as the la- as as charming as like the last three are but for some reason the last night is just strangely joyless and i i couldn't I, I i still can't identify why it just feels different than the last the last four and i i really don't know why and actually because michael bay was firmly done with the series at that i point? mean maybe but i'm thinking now hold on I think that's why. I actually uh-huh. think that's why. Yeah, it had a different writer. It it actually had a different writer. Uh so Aaron Kruger wrote Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon and Age, Age of Extinction, but he did not write for The Last Night. And I want to say that might be why it feels as joyless as it does. Interesting. Could, okay. Could be. That's 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 my, my that's my take of it for for it. I don't know if that is the case, but yeah, that's that's what I'm assuming is that it's it's a different writing team. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, yeah, it's it's bad. It's really really bad. Isn't it, like super long. <laughs> It's it's actually shorter than Age of Extinction, oddly enough. Like by a by like hold on, uh, let me go back real quick. So Age of Extinction is 165 minutes. The Last Night is 149. So it's a good oh. like 20 minutes shorter, which is ridiculous. Now the the most important question is, did it feel longer? <laughs> um. No, not really. Like it wasn't boring. Okay. Um I will say by and large the best part of the movie was um Anthony Hopkins <laughs> cuz the dude like he was just having the he was just I I I don't know like what Michael Bay what kind of direction Michael Bay gave him in that movie, but he was just He's a lot of fun in this movie. He's just like telling people to shut up all the time. It's really fun. He's really good. He's really good. That's the only the good thing about this movie is 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 him. Um, Michael Bay was probably just like, just do your thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's Anthony Hopkins. What are you gonna tell Anthony Hopkins? Yeah. Um, I liked the baby Dinobots. That was a thing. Um, Optimus Prime is barely in this fucking movie, which is really funny. <laughs> Isn't he like an asshole in this? Movie? Yeah, because like uh, he go he goes to Cybertron because he does the thing at the end of the Age of Extinction. He's like, "Hey, creators, leave Earth alone! I'm coming for you!" And then he finds his creator, and she's like, "Hey, Optimus Prime, um, we can bring back Cybertron, but we got to destroy Earth in the process because hey, Earth is Unicron, I guess." So and Optimus and she like brainwashes Optimus to be like, hey, we got to bring Unicron back, and then we can have our planet again. And that's yeah. Um, so he's like, and then he like hears Bumblebee's voice, and he's like, hey, Bumblebee, I guess I'm okay. I guess I guess I'm good again. Okay. <laughs> that's boring. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That's like probably the biggest thing. Like, it's the movie's kind of just boring, which. 
you know, as bad as the other movies are, they're not boring. Like you can say, like you can give give it that much. It's they're not boring movies, but this one just kind of is, and it's really disappointing to see that. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's it's by and large the worst of the movies, and I think most people are in agreement on that, from what I've seen. So, yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the opinion I've seen on the internet. Hmm. Yeah. It's funny that Bumblebee fought Nazis, though. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Which completely fucks with the with the the timeline of these movies, but I don't think anyone really cares about the timeline of these movies. I don't think these movies care about the timeline. No, they don't. That's why they like did a soft reboot with Bumblebee, which I'm excited to rewatch next week. Um only other good thing is Frank Welker as Megatron. That's the only other good thing, even though the new Megatron design kind of looks like shit. But, yeah. All right. Um, Transformers last night. Shitty movie. Hate it. Never watch it again. Sounds about right. Yep. Okay. Um, that's about it for, for the show, I think, Brian. Unless you have anything yep. else to add. No. Other than uh, April Fools get fucked. April Fools, yeah, April Fools. I actually loved Transformers the last night. <laughs> yeah, best movie ever. Made. Got him. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, that was the show. This is our neat little April Fools' Day special. Hope you enjoyed it. I would legitimately love to do something like this again because this was a lot of fun. Um, if you have any recommendations? Yeah, for, for us sure. To do like this next year, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and also YouTube at Talking Toku. Uh, feel free to come chat with us and hang out in the Kaiju United Discord server. Check out the Kaiju United website. Uh, I usually, I you know, I guess this is just one of our ending segments of me just bringing up the Kaiju United website to see what's on the front page right now. I guess I'm just going to do that every episode. Come on. Come on. Uh, there is a retrospective of Godzilla versus Biollante. Um, there's some news, another news report about Godzilla, Here There Be Dragons, and a review for Ultraman G, the movie Connect the Wishes. And hey... And a, a, a news piece about our last episode, about 65. God. Very cool. Disgusting movie. <laughs> it sure was. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on over at Kaiju United, so go check that out. Um, my name is David. I'm Brian. And we'll see you guys next time. Who knows what we're going to cover, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know, maybe. You'll, you'll hear from us soon enough. I, like, had an idea of what to do, but I don't remember what it was. We'll figure it out. Oh, well. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!